Hello everybody, Cephalon Kate here, back with more Mass Effect 3. Today, I think, we will finally romance Caden officially. It was hinting at it, but I think now we are actually going to do it. I think we're going to have a little cute date on the Citadel. So yeah, last time, you might... I don't know if it's going to be visible on stream but i actually changed computers now i have a new computer so i'm able to fully enjoy the legendary edition i think um if the stream is able to show it the performance is going to be even smoother and we are able to enjoy all the the fancy stuff the legendary edition has to offer <sighs> all right i am ready so i think that is where we left off. Let me just double check. Joke room Edie are going to purgatory next time we're at the Citadel. Can't wait to see how that turns out. Do you have anything to say? The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. <laughs> oh, I see. Commander. Commander. Dinner. There we go. I don't know about you, but I could still use a little breather. Next time we're on the Citadel, let me buy you dinner. We should try Apollo's. It's a little restaurant in the courtyard overlooking the Presidium. Ooh, let's do it. Oh, losing my voice. <laughs> I'm just so excited, you know. I turned back into a teenager. Okay, Alliance talks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Um, where is the thing? I think in commons. I need a cab to the Presidium. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Alright. Right, because last time we also had uh, the attack on the Citadel. He's in intensive care? He got blasted by Cerberus. They think he's just another victim. Yes. Commander, unless you can find a new source of weapons for CSEC... No, no, I'm working on it. I'll get you your weapons, sir. I appreciate the end. You want my security vids? Bring me a warrant. You're stonewalling me? Those vids could be vital to the war effort. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. We're at war. If you care about the safety of the war. Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you, Commander. I have some high-profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC, you think I care about insider trading or electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attack the city. Nobody else. You've got my word. All right. Just... I hope it helps. Oh my god, there's Kaden. Surprised this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how. Or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. Oh? How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony, looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Let's me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. 
It's just, you plan a career, you focus, and then suddenly the world's ending and it's too late to, uh, to find someone. Someone? We've been friends a long time, Shepard. Have you ever known me to be with anyone? I mean, I guess I'm just choosy or patient or... I don't know. Maybe what I've never found and what I want is something deeper with someone that I already care about. And that's what I want. What do you want? <laughs> Let's keep it friendly. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. You and me? Is that what you're saying, Caden? It feels right, doesn't it? Be nice to have someone to turn to when things get grim. Someone to live for. Maybe love. <laughs> someone? You, Caden. <laughs> it does. It does feel right. After all this time. <laughs> you and me. I like that. A lot. And that makes me so happy. And there are benefits to that happiness. Really? Yes. <laughs> really. What'd you call it? A uh, sanity check? Mm. Sanity check. Establish a romantic relation. Yeah. Okay. I know this scene is supposed to be like really sweet, but it always makes me laugh because I find it so cheesy. I don't know. Uh, Alright, that's done. Woo! How many this time? These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is gonna save lives. Nice. Sick. This is gonna save lives. Great. I think that sound is good. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a potential security leak. I haven't seen anything major yet, but better to be safe, right? If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. it looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the Embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Okay. But there was also... We have to keep enforcing... Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Ah. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in CSEC in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup. Good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. Tell me what this guy did to deserve death. He executed his own friends in cold blood for Cerberus. Cleared the path for their troops. Now he's saying he's a vet. And he was suckered in by talk of helping humanity. I don't know what intel he has, and I don't really care either. He dishonored the uniform. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. Okay. 
We have to keep what? enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Paladin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to... Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. You have to show them that CSEC is still in control. They need that security. True. The commander's right. We need people coming into work every day. We need things to keep running. Otherwise, today's bar fight could be tomorrow's street riot. Yes. Yeah, maybe you're right. This feels so damn petty right now. Rules be damned. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone on the Citadel, CSEC will shut this whole place no, down. No, no, no. Would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safer? The commander's right. Maybe if the council organizes a civilian militia. Welcome to a one moment. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll just panic and get themselves killed. I just, I just want people to be safe. Agor munitions. I know. For deals you never see coming. coming. What if we submit a proposal that. to start a militia? I don't remember how it suits. Okay. That'd be something. You know what? Fuck it. Specialists are Thank always you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Huh? We appreciate your visit. Here, I've got some pieces for you. Nice. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Mm. Hey, Liara. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Yeah. And it'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Friends! Besties! I love that. Welcome to the Citadel. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. What's this? Shoot smart. Shoot. No Sastra. Our selections include rare technology upgrades from the Terminus systems. Good hunting. Oh no. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Right, yeah. You need to hear this. We found that message. Rose of Ilium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, still I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. Oh. Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, so she's probably pregnant, huh? Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. I thought... 
Oh yeah. For the best in the business, come to Casa. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Her name is Tasha Pore. Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come from? Oh no. Oh Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. Yeah. At least I know what happened. Commander Shepard, he wanted you to know. Sounds like you came Oops. through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavin back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. Okay, cool. Uh, have we checked everything? Yeah. Run, dude. What? No, I don't have to talk to you. Is this my running speed? My god. Okay. Okay, where to next? Uh, let's just go everywhere. Check if we have any side quests we need to turn in. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Welcome to Serta. Don't need it, but. Be safe. The most fake sprint speed I've ever seen. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? Yeah? No. One moment, please. Meet me at the bar. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. How's the head? Yes. Yeah. Guess she's almost gone. Best shore wave ever. Did I do everything? Look who's here. I hope this isn't a social visit. You still have work to do around here. Oh. I'm sure. No, the problem is that you are this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. 
Because I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Everybody knows you can't dance. Yes. I miss afterlife. Yeah, this place is so clean and sweet. Anyhow, thanks for the drink. Oh, hey, D. I'm curious. What material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. <laughs> if I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Hey, Davik. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. Wow. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. Huh. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> but you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Turian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside He's you. He's kind of scary. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well, for a human. 
who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Oh, hey. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Yeah. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. No regrets. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Will Falaire be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things, but Goddess go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. After obtaining a cure to the genophage, Krogan leaders have announced... Look, I filled out all the forms for the post and jumped through every hoop. I don't even know where to go. Hello. Let me know when you've had a chance to talk to Sedaris. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. I'm probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead. And you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odin and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? 
Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying and crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. Does this nick or not? Miranda. Ah. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Hmm. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Um, I don't access codes. I don't know, it's pretty bad person. Okay, cool. Location of Dean Korlak. Location of Atarian patient. This is requested. Ward. Authorize. Medical supplies. Authorize. The entry. Authorize. Military. Authorize. Nice. Is this. Yes. Yes. What's this? Increase accuracy, weapon weight. Increase weight? Ooh. Increase damage and allow to pierce. Oh, shit. War. Eating? What? Oh, there's the armor. There's the armor I wanted. Oh, man. Fuck. Well. I was wondering where it was. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vaz, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. 
They say I'd be disruptive, but you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. Okay. I can do that. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in bay D-24. Thank you. Right. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Oh. Purchases are accredited to the okay. Oh. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <coughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butchered a colony. Only regret. <coughs> Don't have the strength to. <sighs> I destroyed Aratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. <coughs> Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. I do. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <clears throat> If you have any real guilt, show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. Okay. Oh. Hey, James. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, ow, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail, right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure, the good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! Mm. Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium, Deep Tree, and Zeus Hello? I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. 
Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. Ah, yeah. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. True. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying in like a pet game. Why can't I interact with the Medigel? No. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Sane, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Nice. I think, um... Trainer, not trainer. What's her face? Kelly died. I think I didn't do something right. Yeah, I think that's finally all that Arya needs. One moment, please. Now arriving oh. at Docking Bay. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive. I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Boop. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. 
It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once <laughs> and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice slugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Mm -hmm. Step aside. Fine. Do it. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. It's windy up here. Think I'm going to erect a monument right here. Bronze this gun so the whole galaxy knows. That you're the king of the bottle shooters. Glad you're around, Garrus. Never know when the bottles might revolt. <laughs> Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies of these white. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Cerberus? Um, yeah. You always pull through, Commander. Nice. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijal delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. Nice. Okay, so we can get a bonus power. Um, come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. Using my biotics to toss someone across the room is a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Liara. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. <sighs> well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. Damn, okay. Grant. Rothian notes. Intact re weapon. Weapon damage. Ammo capacity. Ammo capacity. No weapon damage. Store discount. Power damage. Store discount. 
Med Bay. Third, no, health. Alright, cool. Please, enjoy your day. Hello. That was a rough mission. The Reapers are an ingenious and ruthless enemy. Poor Rila. Ingenious and ruthless. The worst kind. <sighs> Never met a real Ardot Yakshi. Not that I know of, anyway. Think I dodged a bullet there. Seriously, I think I would have been a goner. Uh huh. Good to see you. Um, Captain's Cabin. I want to see my new jellyfish. Yay, look at that. So cute. Eh. Nail nothing. All right. All good. Let's change our armor. I got cool new one. Nice. Yeah, I like that one. Um, soldier. Well, can be perfect. Right. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak oh. with you down in engineering. All right. Huh. I think I pressed the wrong one. I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know. Oh, come on. The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. True. At least the Anyways. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old... M29 Grizzly. Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> uh, okay. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. My avatar, I mean. Tiny. I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there were views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? You can't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. Go see Adams, Commander. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. Oof, what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. And I buy it straight from uh, here? I go... Yes. I think that was it. Command, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe. Here. Nice. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. Oops. Uh, well. <laughs> Right. Let's see if we can actually get the something about possibly meeting you on the citadel next time you're there. We already went. Commander. I was about to say, how about we find a mission with some shooting, huh? But first, let me just double check. Edie, are you good? What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. And the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? Yeah. A few. Well, the Alliance can always court martial us after we save the galaxy. Yeah. All right, let me make a save. And a new recording. 